Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning, and for that matter, a great day. Today, I'm planning to play more Elden Ring. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm planning on doing. I'm just ex planning on exploring the lakeside, maybe fighting a couple bosses, maybe going to a couple important locations. But the big thing is that I helped out Raina, and she gave me one of those hourglass thingies, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna see where the road takes me. I hope you enjoy. If you do, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy the video. Last time we left off, we had just gotten Miniature Ronnie, and I had gotten the Snow Witch's Garb, which more or less allowed me to, uh, don this wonderful outfit that Rainy typically dons. Um... I wanted to get a specific item that I'm looking for, mainly just because I have had the same staff, which is good, don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't have an upgrade path. And I was hoping to be able to upgrade my staff, which requires me to get one of the better staves in the game, which require me to, you know, actually go out and find it. But before I do that, um, I have to collect my souls. Uh, I may have cut this out of the other video, but there's a giant ass, uh, centipede the bone thingy that shoots projectiles at you. You can't tell. Um, very scary. <laughs> uh, would not encourage fighting it. Especially, I mean, it has one of the coolest attacks up close, which is kind of cool. But I wouldn't encourage fighting it. Especially not up close like I am here. I love that 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 it has an eyeball on its skull. Arguably, rolling backwards kind of hurt me there. I almost killed it, which was pretty cool. Who needs souls anyway? I definitely didn't just die with all my runes, like, being evident in a location. I, I definitely didn't do that. What do you want about? Um... I came back here because, truth be told, the staff I want is in this city. I just don't necessarily know how to get in to the boss fight to unlock the staff I want. An armor piece? Okay. But, yeah, the main goal is to just get that staff. I just really am curious on how to do so. There's these, um... Braziers, it seems. Uh, on top of the, these towers that can be lit to remove the seals, I suppose. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, a seal on a tower has been broken somewhere. Hmm. And then there's one over there. Oh, well, yeah. Torrent can't fit here. And then there's one on that tower. Okay. Oh, the seal I wanted to break was that seal. How was I supposed to know I was just supposed to climb all over the, the buildings? Like, I do that in real life and people go, Why are you on the buildings? What the hell are you doing? Okay, that, that beetle's unique. Um, I haven't seen that one before. But yeah, how was I supposed to know I was supposed to do seal breaking by going to torches on top of towers 
in the city. I originally thought that there was that, you know, that that one guy outside the city who asked me to help that girl. I thought that maybe he was the, like, way I break the seals, but it doesn't appear like that's the case necessarily, so... I'll do his quest later, but I kinda just... I want to reach the, the, the towers. I want to get the stuff. Definitely not hours of trying to, uh, do bad parkour. Um, <laughs> I've lit in the second abrasure. A tower, a seal on a tower somewhere has been broken. Okay, that right there is a spirit bug. Yeah, okay, it was an Ashen War bug that, um, Ash of War bug that was weirdly hard to get. Um, great, it's raining. <laughs> Rip my bit right. Uh, how am I supposed to get on the top of that town? Is there anything for getting on the top of that town? It doesn't appear so, so I won't fixate on it. Sup Supposedly, I've, um, unlocked two seals on two towers, whatever those are. So, I should go look for them. I know of one seal. Is this the other seal? Yes, this is the other seal. Great. You can't hit me, I'm opening a chest. It's illegal. I- I died because I bonked my scythe blade on the side of the door. That's so irritating. <laughs> okay, I made my way back here. What's in the actual chest? Night Comet. A spell. Intriguing. I know that there was a... Razor block down there. Okay, that's still blocked off. I should probably go rest at the grace so I have all my healing potions, but yeah. Okay, successfully rested at the grace. I am now going to go into the tower of the seal that I broke. Because I'm pretty sure that that's going to lead to the boss fight that I want. In this tower. I think there's a boss fight. Okay, there's a grace here. I should have just gone forward, but I had no idea. I'm pretty sure this leads to a boss. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. Like, I came all the way here. I, I, want, I want a boss fight. Give me a boss fight. Um... Okay, skeletons are rising from their graves. Could check whatever the heck's on top of there, but I doubt much. Uh, is there anything? There's just a lot of skeletons. <laughs> like, an insane amount of skeletons. And an iron ball. And everyone knows how much I love iron balls, you know. Oh, this one's faster. My favorite. Oh, man. No. I don't know. I don't know where the brazier... I don't know how to get to the brazier, then. Because I think I know. Annoying. Oh, uh, you're the child that I was told to go to. The child atop the church, atop the cliff side. Hello? Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. If you are wise, you my flesh once I get the golden needle, I'll make sure to give it to you. 
I don't know where the golden needle lies, but... It, when I find it, I'll give it to you, that's for sure. Great, upgraded flask to flask that already pretty much fully healed me. Now at the actual brazier I wanted to light. <laughs> Goodness me, took me a while to get here. But that has broken that tower seal, which is the seal to the boss fight I wanted to do. To get the new staff I wanted. And there's those golden gates that everyone loves. I am here. Wait a moment. You're just the dudes that I fought in... In, in Nakron. You're quite literally just the dudes I fought in Nakron. That is insanely underwhelming. I was like expecting a cool new boss fight. Uh, never mind, I'm bad. <laughs> killed the priest. It's only half the fight, but I killed the priest. Didn't I say how formidable these guys would be in a horde? Uh, when I was saying that, I meant like a little bit more than just two of them, but... They just... Their burst damage is insane. It's a bit intense. Like, if I was given permission to, like, actually just fight one one-on-one, -on -one, then it would be an easy fight. It's just due to their AoE, because there's two of them. It's kind of hard to do that. Especially how fast the sword stress is. Ah, the jump iframes. Stunned me with their <laughs> dodge back, but it doesn't matter. They're both dead. And I've gotten the Noxus Flowing Sword, and this is what I came here for. This item in here. The Glintstone Staff. Now, it does take 52, um, intelligence to bear. Which, I didn't exactly know that it took 52 Gs. But, it has a passive effect that makes it so all spells deal more damage period just in general it just boosts damage at the increased cost of fp so i have a lot of intelligence scaling to build but and a lot of levels to get but once i get there that stuff's that staff is going to be a reckon a reckoning just destroying everyone i just gave it a go um, I now have the ability to open up the Divine Towers. I think, uh, Rhyna gave it to me, but either way, it's more important due to the fact that because I can enter the Divine Towers, I can equip the Divine Runes. The view from up here is great. It's amazing. We could get the tree with it. It would be even better. That a giant chalice? <laughs> like right there. That's funny if it is. But up here on one of the divine towers. Anyway, up here at one of the divine towers, I'll be able to equip one of the great runes. Restore the power of the Great Room. Now I've unlocked 
uh, Radon's Great Rune. Raises HP, FP, and stamina upon use. I wonder how you equip them. Oh, you probably equip them through a side of grace. But I wonder if that means that I can now go to Godric's as well. Now with the Redons, I obtain a Godric's as well. Godric's allowing me to obtain the second great rune. Two out of five. Woohoo. I think there's five at least. It would make sense. I know I have at least two more areas and maybe a fifth. So, I have Godric and I have Radon's. Godric's raises all stats, while Radon's raises specifically HP, FP, and stamina. I think I'll, for the time being, go Godric's. That means whenever I pop a Rune Arc, I gain the ability of Godric, which is kind of cool. So, you might have remembered a while ago, there was a girl in a pavilion over here right there, who asked me to go look for a man in a shack because he had stolen something from her. I'm gonna go find that man and, uh, I, I don't have any plan to kill him necessarily, just find him. Talk to him, you know. Hey look, I found the shack. He's... The person I was looking for is right here. Hello there. Thug. What are you looking at? You trying to stop? Ah, Give me the necklace. That necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. I do well, suppose. Show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Deal. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. What? Wasn't planning on it? <laughs> mm. Alright. Take it. Thing's no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. I wasn't planning on it. Piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll buy some That's of your prawns. Prawn. Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet your price. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. I'm not opposed. Uh, a boiled prawn. 600? Sure. I'll take two. Thank you. About oh. the girl? So you met the girl, did you? Yeah. All right, well, sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway. I mean, it, she ain't all it right is your one. fault Lucky for taking on, roadside, it I reckon. on you. You know, for taking your you power out on her. You? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. Yeah. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Uh, or maybe you're just here to sell me prawns. And I'm like the chosen one and your prawns will be the thing that guides me to the good graces of the gods. I don't know. That, that's just my thoughts on the matter. Mm. Hello there. Your necklace, as you have requested. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, 
I must have the necklace back. Here you go. Yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I guess. I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You hmm. are brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength. Uh, is merciless. See what my mistress seeks. Merciless. Take this. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. Okay. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau. By the Great Lift, lift which requires you to, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm well aware about the talisman and that you have to insert into the Great Lift to be lifted up. I love that she said merciless and I'm over here just buying the thing off the dude like I don't want to hurt anyone unnecessarily and I'm definitely 100% the most merciless killer of everyone. Uh-huh. There's a very specific person I want to meet now. Someone I met before who I had to guide. Who helped me, I'm pretty sure, actually, in the fight against Radon. I wonder where Patches is now. I don't- I hope he doesn't think I think him cowardly. Just because he don't- He doesn't want to fight- He don't. He doesn't want to fight against Radon. Like, I don't blame him. I didn't mean to call upon him just for him to be cowardly. I just called upon him because he was another soul. And another sword, so... Hopefully he doesn't take that against me. But here she is. The blind girl. The one trying to be a maiden. Hello. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Okay, so I must find another grape for her. I'll do that, then. Okay. Okay, okay. Gotta find a Shibiri grape. This is a runes, so maybe there will be one in the runes. Somewhere. Hoping. Is this just a person groveling? Come out! One of- One and all, from the dark underground, let us offer our maiden our eyes. Okay. So, it's underground somewhere. Is what I've gotten from that. That's probably where the sh her eyes are, the Shabir grapes. Is on a lower level. Okay, it went from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. And now it just feels like way too many. Those magic pots make these guys actually decent adversaries. Hmm. I should get my summon out. <sighs> In hopes that he will help me. Okay. Headless, please help me. God, 
got those two. Once again, I'm not a big fan of shielded enemies in this game. I think that they're a little too strong, in my opinion. The what, how much damage and stuff they can block. Perhaps it's because I'm an over-aggressive player and they just punish over-aggression. But either way, it's the way I see it. I wonder where the ruined staircase is to get to the lower level. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil and they shall appear. Hello there. Good staircase. I don't suppose you have any Shibiri grapes? Ooh. A two finger heirloom and a Shibiri grape. Hello. I've brought another Shibiri grape. Would you donate any I'm on a pilgrim when I eat one of those grapes? Here you go. I'm not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. Yeah, I suppose you could say I'm firmer. You're most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. I hope the best for you. Honestly. I don't want your tragedy to end in sorrow like many more before you and many more after you as well. I just... I'm not a fan of people dying in these games. At least, unjustified death. Crab! Actually closer to a lobster than a crab. Just fighting a crab on horseback, or a lobster on horseback in a Dark Souls-like game is hilarious to me. So unserious. I head into the academy, or try to. I don't know whether or not I'll be let into the, the academy, but I highly doubt it somehow. I think I forget how to get in, but who knows? Maybe I'll find a way. Hey, another potion charge. Unlike potency, that's actually something very useful right now. Having more of it is always great. Especially when they're practically like full on insta heals. This is like the first time I've actually gone through the main entrance of a location in a while. Cause you have this flamethrower dude who are like, are both very hard enemies to deal with and typically very easy to dodge, I suppose. Like it's, it's not the actual fire that's easy to dodge, it's, Dodging the trick that gets the fire going. I seriously don't like them having the sorcery pots, but it is very, like, it makes tons of sense that they would. Especially since we're here in the academy. Oh, a great sword wielder. Doesn't stagger. At least not easily. Your blocks seem to be very, uh, mistimed. <laughs> now I have to sneak my way through or deal with some of the more annoying enemies. I should get good and remember that most magic goes through shields. These guys are annoying.
At first, I didn't even realize that they have a head. Oh. I didn't realize that they're being piloted by a dude in the back. I guess that makes a lot more sense. I was thinking, it's kind of weird to think that they're living, but they're not. It's just there's a person in the back who's driving the thing. Interesting, but cool nonetheless. Uh, what's the point of having those fire spitters? I, I honestly don't know. When you can sidestep the fire spitter, what's the point? I don't know. Oh, I started two-handing. That's what happened. I'm like, I don't know why I, uh, all of a sudden my attack sort of swapped. Oh, it's because I hit down Y to pick something up. That makes sense. I attempt to get into the city, which is blocked by a magic seal. I do forget how to get said magic seal, but... City, would you be able to remind me? A glinstone key. Where that may be, I do not remember. I do ex suppose I can explore the wetlands. Exploring this area will probably give me some insight on where the key is. I have 10 tier 6 flask. That just seems insane to me. It seems that there's another church here. Or... I should say more remnants of a church because they're never really that much church like. Hello, you're the dude from the start of the game! Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. Yes, I did. What was your impression? Uh, they didn't seem right. They were magnificent. Um, I don't know which one to say to you. Hmm. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion. It didn't seem right. Aha. Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. Oh? The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. Yeah. But when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. Yeah, it, it is kind of brutal that they don't care for the tarnished at all. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. Ah yes, the festering bloody finger. Thank you so much. I know it's used to invade people infinitely, but draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Lambkin. Yes, now I can invade the Rose Church. I don't know if there's necessarily anything of value here. Whatever that enemy was. A bloody rose. Hmm. Bloody rose. That's a face spell. Ah, bloody flame blade. I bet it's an arcane scaling faith spell, which is always my favorite. Uh, definitely 100% love that. Uh, 
I don't suppose there's a lot of enemies here. Ooh, the temple quarters. Ah. Uh, I really wanted a side of grace. Hey, look, a side of grace. Fittingly spoken. Um. I need to keep pushing on. I believe that if I keep moving forward, I will eventually find a boss or something. Hopefully I'll be able to defeat any boss that I do encounter. Those are beetles carrying floating things? A summon spot. I really like the arrow spell, if you guys can't tell. Hmm. That seems to be a dragon. I haven't fought a good dragon in a good bit, you know? So, uh, let's give it a try, Headless. The Glinstone Dragon Smerit. This is Garum. Oof. That damage is intense. But it wouldn't be a dragon if not so. I don't know what it is with the dragons, but they all seem to have intense forms of damage. Especially close up damage like this. Spit down. No, slam down. Did that dragon just one hit me? I'm sorry? I guess I suppose I could try to sneak past the dragon. Steal its loot. I'm just helpless and thinking I can kill this dragon that literally one hits me. I had a better chance with the other dragon that didn't one hit me. Oh god. I love this spell. Literally, a shockwave's coming. Okay, stealth 100% the way around this. Uh, and by stealth, I mean rushing in headlong, grabbing the things I need, and then probably dying. Because that's the best part about being tarnished, is death is not a failure, death can be a success. Uh, there's the key I needed. Uh, yeah, um, you can enjoy yourself. I'm gonna take a casual little stroll. Don't mind me, dragon. Um... Dragon these uh <laughs> I wonder if he's still gonna passively come after me because I kinda did steal his horde. Maybe not kinda. I did steal his horde. Um Oh, he's He gave up quite easily. Give me my Ash of War. Ah. The dragon likes wandering. Maybe it should stop. <laughs> I can technically just teleport up to the Ac uh, the Acatamia now and unlock it. I don't suppose I can get another key.
to give to uh, my friend. Can I just unlock it for us in general, or...? Hello? Hmm, it only works for one party. I could tidy up my loose ends and see if I can give it to him, but I don't think from soft like soft locking you out of an area. Hmm. But yeah, here at the academia. I'm gonna leave it off here. Uh, it might have seemed to be a bit shorter of a video. I know I say that sometimes, but this case, I really think it was. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye!